Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really cool and advanced looking glitch logo reveal animation in After Effects. Now, no, we won't be using any third party plugins or fractal noise like I've seen tons of tutorial on YouTube, the glitch logo reveal tutorial on YouTube where they show you how to create some really cool glitches but the method is similar they use fractal noise but we will be using js displacement which is a free software so i'll provide the link in the description below so you can go and download it it is a pretty small software you can just you know download and get started so yep and also if you guys want to know how to create this particular logo in adobe illustrator then make sure to check out mark from gigantic youtube channel where he will show you guys the complete process of creating this logo from scratch in adobe illustrator the link will be down in the description below so make sure to check it out so without any further ado let's get straight into after effects and get started all right so before getting into after effects here we are in js placement and this software will help us to create some really cool looking displacement maps so it's pretty simple and easy to use you can select what kind of you know pattern that you want to go with so i'm going to go with maybe this pattern so i'm going to click on it and let's hit r to you know generate a displacement map there we have it now you, you have different number of controls to change the kind of design that you want so i have set mine to you know something like this you can you know just tweak the settings and you can get the desired result it's gonna you know generate some random displacement map so you can use it and to save it all you need to do is just click on save and then it's gonna save on a particular location so already i have created or selected two displacement map for this tutorial and if you guys want to download the tutorial project file then make sure to check out the link in the description to my patreon page where you can, where you can donate just one dollar and get access to all my tutorial project files so it's pretty awesome right so yeah make sure to check it out and this is how you can just generate some really nice displacement map if you want to generate a different displacement map you can go back into main menu and click on a different pattern hit r to generate a displacement map and you know tweak them some settings to get your desired result desired result so yep that's that for the js displacement so i'm gonna pretty quick go and you know drag in this displacement map maybe i'll use um let's say i'll use this one hit import so there we have it let's create a main composition pretty quick let's rename this to main 1920 into 1080 let's make this 30 fps 10 seconds should be good and hit ok let's create one more composition for our logo so i'm just going to rename this to logo hit ok and drag the logo into the logo comp maybe scale this down a bit to i guess uh, 70 should be good or maybe let's go with 60 okay looking good let's go back into the main composition and drag in the logo composition into the main composition so there we have it and then pretty quickly i'm just gonna drag in the displacement map into the main comp and let's scale this down a bit just like so and let's rotate this so hit r to bring down the rotation properties and just rotate this to 90 degrees and there we have it and actually i'm gonna just rotate it 45 degrees i guess um 90 degrees that was good all right so let's select the layer and hit Control shift c to pre-compose it and let's call this um let's call this js that is the displacement map so hit okay and let's hide this for the moment let's go into the js displacement there we have it and let's add an effect called cc reptile i think that's what it's pronounced and let's increase or you know expand the left and the right side so let's expand it just like that and same for the left side just like that just to you know get more complex look so i'm gonna scale this down actually a bit maybe something like so i'm gonna expand the top and the bottom a little bit okay pretty good yep there we go that's what i'm going for Let's go into the main comp and let's, you know, select the logo composition and add a displacement map onto this. There we go. So you can right off the bat, you know, create some really cool displacement. But to make it look really nice and complex for the displacement map layer, I'm going to set this to JS. And right off the bat, you can see we get this really nice and complex looking displacement. And that is what I'm going for. So at the very beginning, let's close this up. At the very beginning, I'm going to set this to around, um, 
I'll go really high, maybe something like right over here. 1000, pretty good, I think. Okay, create a keyframe, go to one second, and let's bring this to, um, let's go with zero maybe. So we have this really simple animation, all right? And also I'm gonna increase the vertical displacement a bit. Oh, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna do that for this one. So we have a simple, you know, animation just like so. Let's select the logo comp and hit U so we can see the keyframes. Select the keyframes, hit F9 to ease ease those keyframes. Go to graph editor, and if your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure to right click and work in the edit speed graph, not in the edit value graph. Let's select this point and drag this handle to the left. So we have a really cool animation as you can see pretty nice okay so let's drag this a bit and there we have it really cool looking animation at one second now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both the layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring them down let's change the color to red maybe and let's add a fill there we go now you can't see anything because i'm gonna go right over here and displace it even more a bit just like so so now we have something like that pretty cool right but now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna increase the vertical displacement as well just like so so maybe around let's go with something like 200 and create a keyframe at the very beginning so let's go right over here at one second okay actually i'm gonna create keyframe right over here so create a keyframe and let's go to maybe one second and 10 frames and let's bring this down to zero. So now we should have something like this. Pretty simple. Let's select it, hit U so we can see the keyframes. Select the keyframes, go to graph editor. Oh, make sure to select the keyframes and hit F9. Then go to graph editor and I'm gonna make it something like so. Okay, I think it's a bit too fast, so I'm gonna just drag it to 20 frames. Let's see. Okay, that is what I am going for. Pretty cool. And then what I can do is select this duplicated by hitting Ctrl D, bring this down. Let's set this to green. Now you can of course, you know, use any color that you want, but as we are going for the glitchy look, I'm gonna go with a green color, you know, the RGB colors. So something like that, and as you can see right off the bat, it is looking pretty cool. Now, right over here, actually we'll go to right over here and hit U so we can see the keyframes. And let's set this actually to minus 200. So we have this really cool look. And for the color, I think this is not pure RGB so I'm gonna go with the pure green or something like that you can of course use any color that you want so we have something like that which is looking absolutely pretty cool let's select this two again hit ctrl D bring this below and let's set this to blue let's change the color to blue color something like that hit U so we can see the keyframes and let's display this again a bit so i'm gonna displace it to somewhere around maybe 150 or something and let's see what we have pretty cool so this is the base animation that i'm going for which i think looks pretty interesting so let's select all the layers and hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it and let's call this animation okay and right at the bat, let's create a new BG. So hit Control Y to create a new solid and let's rename this to BG for background. Bring this below and I'm gonna add a gradient ramp to this. Let's set this to radial ramp and let's bring this right over here. Swap colors and for the white color, I'm gonna change this to a kind of a darker blue color. Also increase the RAM scatter amount to 50 so we don't get any color bendings and drag this point right over here. I think it's a bit too blue so I'm gonna make it a bit darker. Just a touch. And also make sure to work in 16 bits per channel so that you don't get 
or avoid maximum color bendings you know looking pretty good maybe a bit more desaturated just like so so yeah pretty cool let's create a new adjustment layer so hit ctrl alt and y and let's uh, rename this to g for glow and let's add the glow to this for the threshold i'm gonna go with 70 percent and for the glow radius let's see maybe something like this looking pretty good threshold let's increase it to 75 maybe and make this to maybe 250 or something which i think is looking pretty damn cool yep pretty nice and as you can see as we are using the js this js placement you can see we get this really nice detail into our glitch which we we know it's which is kind of difficult to achieve with the fractal displacement so i think this is a pretty cool technique of creating some really nice and advanced looking glitches and once you get the idea or the method of creating this cool glitch you can create your own cool looking animation use it in a different way you know just have fun experiment with this so this is looking pretty good let's create one more adjustment layer so hit control alt and y and this is going to be our um, optics compensation so let's add the optics compensation which is again a pretty cool effect increase this to get a really you know you can see what i'm going for looks pretty interesting so what i'm gonna do is actually i'm gonna hit control x to cut the effect and delete it from the adjustment layer and apply it on the animation layer so hit control y or control v actually and let's set this to maybe 70 percent and this is looking pretty nice actually as you can see get this really curvy look so you can play around with the effect to get an, an extreme kind of a pretty cool and intense look which is again looking pretty nice but i think i'm gonna go with 70 for now and then i'm gonna create a new actually i'm gonna add a camera lens blur to this you know or maybe let's delete this and let's create a new adjustment again so hit control alt y and let's add camera lens so cl for camera lens blur and increase this to around 40 and let's create a map for our camera so for that i'm going to create a new solid so hit control y and let's call this um let's call this blur map and hit ok let's add gradient ramp to this okay make this radial ramp and bring this to the center just like that drag it just like so and pre-compose it let's call this a uh, map or blur map hit ok hide this up and let's go into our camera lens and here in the blur map i'm gonna set this to blur map so now you can see we get this really nice kind of a depth of field kind of look which is not actually a depth of field but kind of you know give that illusion of depth of field so you can you know increase or decrease the blur amount so i'm gonna set this to maybe 40 or something I think 40 is just too much maybe let's go 25 that is looking pretty good let's go to right over here in one second create a keyframe on the blur radius go to right over there and let's set this to zero so now we have this really cool look pretty nice yep looking pretty nice and what i'm gonna do now is duplicate it now it's pretty optional what you can do is hit ctrl d to duplicate it displace this uh, bit maybe and add a you know maybe a ramp to this so you get a really actually put it right over here so you get this really cool look or maybe i can delete actually delete the ramp from this and put it right over here and just scale this a bit up You know just to make it look more complex and for this i'm gonna just add a fill make it white maybe just optional you don't need to actually do this but you can see you get this really nice and um, complex look to this so what i can do is right over here i can 
you know bring down the opacity actually no that is not gonna work so even what this oh this is looking pretty intense but no i'm gonna just ignore the fill so you can use that way just to make it look more you know complex add a drop shadow to this maybe just to get that illusion of a shadow something like that which is um, pretty interesting so you can you know create a complex look to this depends on your you know personal preference again so yep this is looking pretty good to me now the patterns are looking a bit repetitive so yeah i'm just gonna ignore this for now there we have a really cool animation may bring down the opacity to 30 mm, pretty good yep looking really nice and for the last adjustment let's create a new adjustment layer Control alt y so we name c for color correction add a bit of curves to this just to you know this colors pop out a bit just like so see pretty cool and for the glow i'm gonna increase the intensity a bit just like that and this is actually looking pretty nice and one more cool thing that you can do is actually i'm going to just turn on the layer that we previously created and let's scale this down to actually 100 again and let's add a cc radial blur let's increase the radio and let's set this to centered zoom and there we have this really cool effect for the quality i'm going to go to 100 and we can increase or decrease the amount depending on your personal preference so i'm just gonna keep it right over here which looks pretty damn cool and right over here let's go and create a keyframe on the mount go a bit forward in time and let's set this to zero we have this really simple animation as the glitch comes together so let's check out our animation let's pretty quickly preview it also make sure you're working in the 16 bits per channel to get the best glows and stuff you know and to also avoid any color bendings now our project is getting a bit heavy due to the lens blur the optics compensation the radial blur pretty intense effects so let's see our complete animation and pretty happy with the animation i think this looks pretty damn cool So yep, that is a wrap for today guys. I hope this video was helpful and if it was make sure to subscribe, comment and like and yes I do read each and every comment so make sure to comment down below if you enjoyed the tutorial. If you didn't enjoy it, let me know if you guys have any ideas or any requests for any kind of tutorials. I will be happy to create it for you guys. So without any further ado, <laughs> what I'm saying. So that is all for today, guys. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.